Imagine yourself in a position of global leadership, commanding legions of followers and having the freedom to make independent decisions. However, this influence is often overshadowed by relentless obstacles, political crises, pandemics, disappointments, and a flood of rejections. Consider the challenge of leading such a life. Julius Caesar, for example, regularly faced such difficulties. Undoubtedly, these hurdles can evoke feelings of vulnerability and isolation. In this video, we will discuss how Julius Caesar adopted pragmatic philosophy as his life guide and how this choice proved to be an effective antidote against dissatisfaction. It can be challenging to understand why someone is not reacting to your actions, which can create a sense of uncertainty. However, the lack of response should not be seen as a signal to give up or let the other person control the situation. How can you turn this indifference into a positive aspect for yourself? By the end of this video, we will reveal tactics to confront others' apathy and learn how to use reverse psychology to make the person regret not having paid proper attention. Now, let's get started. First point, practice resilience to disinterest. When someone turns their back on you, an effective strategy is to demonstrate resilience. Although it might seem counterintuitive, this approach is often successful. View this situation as an opportunity for personal growth. Being neglected is not just an obstacle, but also a chance for you to stand out with patience and insight. Instead of mirroring the indifference, invest in your self-awareness and emotional strengthening. Focus on your values, your goals, and develop your emotional independence. The aim is not to win a superficial game for attention, but to refine the art of calmness and self-control. In your personal journey, you are the protagonist. Write your story with honor, resilience, and cunning. Turn this moment into a step towards a more resilient and philosophically grounded self. Second point, cultivate emotional calmness. In the face of others' disinterest, whether from a man or a woman, the challenge is to not react emotionally. The most effective approach is to remain calm. Stoicism, for example, values maintaining tranquility and emotional strength in these situations. When confronted with indifference, this philosophy suggests introspection instead of emotional reactions. Serenity is essential, as is the development of understanding. Focus on self-awareness, responding with respect and dignity. If ignored, Stoic wisdom advises maintaining a friendly and polite demeanor without expecting a particular reaction. Inquire if something is wrong and if the person wishes to talk, but without pressure or the need for approval. If the indifference persists, stay calm and composed, avoiding irritation or showing weakness. Instead, Focus on yourself and your actions, demonstrating strength, self-confidence, and recognizing that others' behavior should not influence your self-image or values. Stoicism encourages focusing on what we control, our actions and attitudes, and accepting what is beyond our control, like the actions of others. Third point, mentally disconnect. In the face of a woman's disinterest, one tactic is to mentally detach from her. This means stopping thinking about her and redirecting your attention to yourself. Shift your focus from her to your personal goals. Set objectives and dedicate yourself to achieving them. Explore a new hobby or start an innovative project. Plan times with friends and family, valuing these relationships. Allocate time for personal reflection and continuous improvement. This will help develop a positive mindset and shift focus away from her indifference. Over time, you will realize that her lack of attention becomes irrelevant. Fourth point, reveal your personal value. Facing neglect can be challenging and an effective response is to highlight your own value, display your intelligence, sense of humor, and charm. According to Stoicism, dealing with situations of inattention is an opportunity to demonstrate your value through virtues and ethical behavior. Beyond impressing with intellect or humor, Stoicism encourages expressing your value through wisdom, kindness, and integrity. For example, if you feel excluded in a conversation, participate actively, sharing your knowledge humbly, reacting with respect, and listening attentively. Instead of seeking approval or a specific reaction, 
Focus on being genuine and showcasing your qualities aligned with stoic values of self-improvement and mutual respect. Showing that you can maintain balance and respect, regardless of attention or recognition, is to live the stoic principles of valuing character and personal actions, reflecting wisdom and self-control. Fifth point, cut off contact. If a woman does not give you attention, the best response might be to simply distance yourself. This means stopping any communication, whether it's messages, calls, or other forms. If possible, avoid her completely. For example, stop sending messages and don't respond to her texts. If she doesn't return your calls, stop trying to contact her. If you're in the same social environment, avoid initiating conversations or making eye contact. To deal with indifference, one strategy is to show that she is mistaken about you. Demonstrate that you are different from what she thinks and that you have more qualities than she recognizes. If she underestimates your intelligence, show your competence in that area. If she thinks you are uninteresting, reveal your engaging personality. Even if she continues to ignore you, don't take it personally. Focus on your personal development. Sixth point, elevate your social status. From a stoic perspective, Elevating your status is not about impressing others, but about promoting your personal growth and contributing to the community. In situations of inattention, focus on self-improvement and community involvement. Activities such as physical exercises, hobbies, learning new skills, career progression, volunteering, and networking are ways to develop your character and contribute to society. Share your genuine experiences and interests not to attract attention, but to create real connections with people and communities that share similar interests. This approach aligns with stoic values of personal growth, contribution to the common good, and building meaningful relationships based on mutual respect and shared interests. Seventh point, act as if the person doesn't exist. When someone ignores you, an option is to behave as if that person does not exist. This involves not initiating conversations or making eye contact, opting to interact with other people. For example, at a party, talk to other guests, ignoring the person who does not give you attention. If it's necessary to interact with her, keep the conversation strictly professional and avoid personal topics that might lead to conflicts. If the indifference continues, do not react emotionally and distance yourself. Often it's easier to move on than to try to resolve something that is beyond your control. Eighth point, practice silence. Choosing silence as a response to indifference can be powerful. By not reacting, you show that the lack of attention does not affect you. Stoicism interprets silence not as a provocation, but as an opportunity for reflection and emotional control. In situations of enforced silence, Use the time for introspection and understanding your thoughts and emotions. Stoicism emphasizes acting, or not acting, in accordance with your virtues and integrity, not attempting to influence others' behavior. This approach promotes inner peace and self-control, aligning with stoic values and avoiding manipulative or vengeful behaviors. Ninth point, avoid begging for attention. Begging for attention when ignored is not productive. Make the person realize what they are missing out on. Following stoicism, the best reaction is to seek personal satisfaction and emotional autonomy. Instead of using strategies to make others miss you or demonstrating self-assurance through criticism, preserve your dignity and self-respect, manifesting confidence and independence. This behavior reflects your value and stability encouraging enjoyment in your activities and interests, staying true to your values, and interacting authentically without the need for external approval. Tenth point, kindness with emotional detachment. When ignored, avoid taking it personally or reacting negatively. The appropriate approach is to act kindly, maintaining a healthy emotional distance. This reflects the stoic practice of not personalizing situations and maintaining composure. Acknowledge the person politely, like greeting them or wishing them a good day, without expecting reciprocity. Show emotional detachment, not out of disinterest, but as a sign of inner balance and self-sufficiency. This approach aligns with stoic principles of focusing on the controllable, 
such as your reactions and emotions, and accepting the uncontrollable, like the actions of others. The strategy promotes a balance between being kind and maintaining healthy emotional boundaries. By demonstrating that your confidence and emotional stability emanate from your intrinsic character and not from others' validation or admiration, you reinforce the importance of cultivating balanced relationships based on mutual respect. In conclusion, I warmly invite you to join our community engaged in the study of Stoicism. Thank you for your attention. And if this video inspired a more conscious love, advance with us. Subscribe, enable notifications, and share your thoughts in the comments. If you don't know what to say, simply type present to show that you watched until the end. Your involvement is essential in this journey of discovery and growth. Remember, healthier and more fulfilling relationships are built on the pillars of mutual recognition, conscious action, and above all, profound respect for oneself and others.